So I don't know about any of y'all tuning into the video, but while I love anime, I also love Asian cuisine. So this past weekend, I went to a restaurant and I tried this thing, well, I didn't intentionally try it, this thing called wasabi. And you see, they, they snuck it into my bowl. And so, if you don't know about wasabi, it's extremely spicy. So me not expecting this, when I first took a bite of it, I was just like, <laughs> oh shit. But enough about wasabi. You came here for Shinobi Striker. So, today we're basically going to be giving you the counters to time space hop and also pretty much invulnerability. This is something that one of my subscribers had commented on my video that they wanted to see me counter. And as I said, I always try to do anything that's going to help y'all and you know what you want to see in the game. So if there's anything that you want to see me counter, make sure to drop it in the comments so I can make a video over it. But if there's something you think you might be interested in, go ahead and stay tuned to the end of the video. If you've been here before and you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you can know whenever I post new videos. And let's go ahead and get to this video. If you don't really know what Time Space Hop is, it's a substitution that you get from the Sasuke DLC. And this Sasuke DLC we're talking about is the adult Sasuke. And basically what this does is, it basically gives you invulnerability frames for a little bit and it also reduces your ninjutsu cooldown time. So ever since this happened, this has been something that a lot of people have been running because they recently added the ninjutsu cooldown change. So a lot of people have been running the substitution and it's pretty cheesy. But today, we're going to be showing you how to counter it. So, time space hop in general lasts about 6 seconds. And that's what you're going to be using, that's how long you're going to have the invulnerability. And then you're also going to be getting the ninjutsu cooldown reduction. So, and the ninjutsu cooldown reduction is pretty drastic. You get your jutsu back pretty quickly. So the counters we're showing you today, they're not really going to allow you to counter the ninjutsu cooldown thing but they will allow you to get them out of this state of invulnerability. So one thing I gotta say in the beginning of the video, I'm sorry for you, but defense types, there's not really a counter for you when it comes to countering this substitution, and there's not gonna be much help countering invulnerability. And what I mean with invulnerability, I'm meaning things like Kamui. So basically today we're really talking about time, space, hop, and also Kamui, and then also the invulnerability frames that you get from Sakura's Jutsu, the strength of 100, don't remember the exact name of it, but the strength of 100 jutsu. So, if you're a defense type, the only thing you're really going to be able to use is the cooling breeze. And this is going to get rid of the status effect where they get their ninjutsu cooldown reduced, but it's not going to get rid of the invulnerability flames. So you're going to see a common trend with countering time space hop and pretty much any jutsu that gives you invulnerability frames. The way to get past this is pulling jutsu, but not just any pulling jutsu. The Renegon. It seems like in this game, the Renegon trumps all, which makes sense because Kamui is kind of a sort of time space jutsu. So, time space hop, these are pretty similar, and the Renegon is going to allow you to counter this. So, when we're starting with the attack types, the first counter is going to be Universal Pull. When you use Universal Pull, you're going to pull them out of the state of the invulnerability frames, and then you can strike them. Now, the thing is with Universal Pull, sometimes they won't stop whenever you strike them, so I mean, you gotta time it, but at least you pull them out of the invulnerability frames, and you know, you and your teammates can actually deal some damage if they're low on health. So, we move over to the range types. Like I said, pulling jutsu, so Inferno style flame control, well, no, Inferno style flame lightning is going to allow you to break through the time space hop because of the Renegon ability. The Renegon pulls, and then you're going to burn. So this is actually a better counter than Universal Pull because you're going to be able to knock them straight, you know, get straight damage right after taking the invulnerability off. Another thing is, this can work also if you're trying to just put them in the middle of your teammates. Another thing that will counter Time Space Hop is going to be the Heavenly Hand Power. The Heavenly Hand Power is going to take them out of the state of vulnerability. They're still going to have the Ninjutsu cooldown reduction, but 
you and your teammates will actually be able to jump them and actually deal out some damage. In another counter, rangers just have all the counters for time space hop. Another counter, which makes sense because it's another time space type jutsu, is going to be the Kamui Lightning Blade. Kamui Lightning Blade is going to allow you to go straight through anybody that's in the invulnerability frames of time space hop, and you're also going to apply a debuff, which in turn can a little bit counteract the buff that they get from using time space hop. As far as when it comes to the defense builds, like I said, defenses, y'all don't have anything that specifically just counters time space hop or combo or any of these invulnerability frame jutsus, but you can utilize the cooling breeze, which will allow you to at least do something whenever you're going up against somebody that has time space hop. As far as the healers go, one that did work, so I did see that area effects still work. So your best counter for the healers, you can still use the super weight and boulder jutsu. That's the only one that was actually able to work with the healers. Now you're not going to be able to counter the invincibility frames with this, but the, the super weight and boulder, it drastically increases the amount of time it takes for the ninjutsu to come back. So if you do this as soon as they activate time space hop, you're going to prevent them from getting the jutsu back and this reduces the substitution cooldown. So their substitution isn't going to come back as fast and that time space hop will go from coming back in 25 seconds to around maybe 30 to 31 seconds. And also, one thing that was surprising when I was trying to do the healer counters, for some reason, mind transmission jutsu wouldn't work. Mind transmission does not hit them whenever they're in the invulnerability state right after time space hop. But for the most part, these are the counters. So really, you're going to be wanting to coordinate with your teammates. If you're in survival mode, the best thing for you to use is probably going to be the inferno style flame lightning because this is going to allow you to deal damage. But for the most part, the main gist that you need to know when it comes to countering time space hop or any time space jutsu, so this is meaning Kamui, whether it's Kamui Bond or Kamui Climax, Renegon abilities trump all whenever it comes to stuff like that. So Universal Pull, Infernal Star Flame Lightning, Heavenly Hand Power, and also Kamui Lightning Blade. These are going to be your best bets when it comes to countering, time space hop, Kamui, and anything that has invulnerability frames. But, hey, I mean, that's it. Thank you for staying here. I mean, this is a pretty, you know, a shorter video, not extremely short, but we got straight to the point. So hopefully this helps y'all with countering time space hop since I know this substitution has been extremely overpowered. Just imagine powering this with like Sharing Gun and then also using the Shadow Clone tool that I showed you in the other video. You're getting invulnerability frames and you're also getting to heal by using the Shadow Clone. Uh, that's just absolute cheese. But if there's anything else you want me to counter, make sure you drop it in the comments and I will get to the video. If you stay here this long, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you know whenever I post new videos. I really appreciate y'all for tuning in, and make sure you have a glass of water if you ever eat any wasabi. And we'll see y'all next time. We up.